Welcome to Ultimate Mar Bros. Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ultimate Mar Bros. I'm your host, Ultimate Mar. And as you can tell, we are playing Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal once again. And we are going to be doing some missions. So yeah, let's get started. And, you know, these missions that we're doing for the Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal game is really where the game, the series, starts to take a change. At least for this game. I don't really remember having missions like this, at least in any of the other games. And this is the, like I, I've said before, this is the very first and really only Ratchet and Clank game that has multiplayer. And it's kind of like this stuff that we're doing right here is part of the multiplayer experience. Uh, you end up fighting against each other to uh, take over each other's bases. And it's a lot of fun. I remember playing this with my roommate back in college. Let me just... No, I guess not. I was trying to get myself killed there, but that didn't happen. Uh, yeah, one of my roommates and honestly one of my best friends, uh, Clayton Leopold. He's a great guy. He's married and he's got kids now. <laughs> And I wish him and his family all the best. I was there for their wedding and everything. It was a very nice wedding. It really was. I enjoyed being there. And I really had fun with him and his family and all of that. I've always been close with my roommate. <laughs> it has been a long, long time since we've actually talked. Because we live so far away from one another and for so many years I was doing I was working night shift from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. and he was doing morning shift and we just never was able to hang out and I miss being able to hang out with him and Alex Vest another friend of mine from college uh, and one of my co-workers Marcelo Samaniego who was supposed to be my uh co-host, but nothing worked there. Hang on. Alright, well, that worked. <laughs> and yeah, we were supposed to work on this and do this show together, but he's in Washington, Seattle, and I don't have internet. <laughs> Man, I miss being able to just hang out with friends do anything. I'm... This whole Backstreet Boys reunion tour is really fucking with my skis. Skis, man. It really is. I'm really, really over the Backstreet Boys, Backstreet Boys reunion tour about now. <laughs> It'd be nice if it was fucking over. It really would be. But, stay away, stay away, fucker. Just, just be destroyed. Jesus Christ. I remember my first meeting with... With Clayton and all of them. You know what? I'm going to get myself killed if I stay here. Stop! Fuck! Piece of shit. Come on, you fucker. Motherfucker. Pissing me off.
<laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, my first meeting with uh, my friend Clayton, <laughs> I, I had done, when I graduated the high school back in 2008, I spent my first summer going to college. I didn't take summer off. And that was a that was the worst mistake I did for school was that I didn't take the summers off. I really wish that I just took the summer off and just was able to unwind. To those of you who are going to college right now, take the summer off. Just take some time rest, recuperate, get a part-time job or something. Just stop dealing with school for the summer. Relax. That would be my advice to you, all of you who are going to college. Unless you're later in your life and you've got a family to support, then yeah. Do what you gotta do. Ah. This actually takes some focus. Okay, whatever. This actually takes some focus from me. But, uh, I remember my first meeting with. Clayton Leopold, my roommate. As I said, I had taken my first uh, summer of high school after graduating high school. Come here, damn. And after I finished the summer, I had just stayed there. Stayed in the room that I was in for the next semester. And I was just, I was asleep in the room, minding my own business, just out like a light. And then all of a sudden, someone just walks into the room that I'd never seen. And it was going to be my new closest friend. At least I still consider him a dear friend. And... Uh, He came in with his family, and I was like, Hey, can you guys give me, like, two two minutes to get dressed? And, and then, can you guys come back in? <laughs> I mean, like, I wasn't really dressed. I was alone for a little while, for a few days. And I was just in my boxers. <laughs> oh, man, that was, that was funny. And after I got dressed... And, brush their teeth and everything and met with them. They were really, really nice people. Clayton and his family were very, very kind, very nice people. And I really, really did enjoy meeting them and talking with them. With them. Clayton, if you're listening, I miss you, buddy. We gotta hang out sometime. Like, I know it's been a long... It's been almost a decade since we hung out, I think. Again, the last time we hung out was your wedding, and... That would be about... Yeah, that would be about ten years now. It was a long, long time ago. I miss you, buddy. <laughs> Only thing that kind of drove me crazy about you was that you always had this one damn song uh you, Chicken Fried by God I don't remember who it was and I do not like country music I really really don't like country music it's just not for me but you always had that music on, that one song, 
either it was your car, I mean your truck, or anything else, you were always playing that one song. I ended up having to either like it or just suffer all the time, and I ended up liking it after hearing it so often. It's not a bad song, now that I think about it. But after I met them, I was like, I'm listening to their conversation in the background. And after I met them, talked to them, I went out and uh, helped him get his stuff and bring it in. Like I said, he's a really cool dude. And I do, really do miss hanging out with my friend. I wonder what he's doing now. Hey, if you're watching, you still got my number. I sent you a text with my new phone number. So, yeah, give me a call. <laughs> now, another one of my friends is uh, Alex Vest. <laughs> I remember how we met. Uh, this is all, these two friends of mine are from uh, Texas A&M in Galveston. Uh, Clayton and Alex. <laughs> and I remember, I think it was the first semester there, after summer and everything. And I was just in my, uh, in the cafeteria. In our cafeteria we had a uh, a, what is it? No, it wasn't the cafeteria, it's the break room. Uh, near one of the dorms. And we had a, an arcade machine. A Mega Man arcade machine. And I was just playing it. Mind you, I was 18 at the time. I mean, I'm 31 playing Ratchet and Clank right now, but that's not important. <laughs> and... I saw him walk by and I said, hey, what's up? I didn't know him. Shit. And we started talking and we got along fantastically, you know? <laughs> He's actually one of the type of people that <coughs> we, we got along super well. I wonder how he's doing. Uh, Alex, if you're listening, I think you have my number as well. If not, I'll probably give you a call tomorrow. Today is April 10th. Uh, come here. There we go. Oh, really? Nah, I'm gonna just leave many turrets to deal with you fuckers. Is that everybody? Alrighty. Alright, I got two new weapons and we'll return to ship. When we come back, we will be at another location, I think. And I'll tell you a little bit more about Alex. I'm not sure why we're back at Starship Phoenix. It was the biggest ah. chicken wing you've ever seen. <laughs> Big as a star cruiser and packing twice as much firepower. There was no escape. He was coming right at me. Closer, closer. Oh, what am I gonna do, right? Closer, even closer. Click, click. What blaster jam? No way. What happened next? Yes, good. Give it to this is the mighty Q force I learned so much about. Pathetic! I could have lived. I'm trying to find a pun for Q force, but like. No, I can't think of anything. 
starting with Q as an insult. That's for you, Agent Quarantine? I don't think that. I think that's such a thing, you. May I say? What a treat. I love Lawrence. He's a sassy motherfucker. Come in. Hello. Someone just transmitted a hologram onto the ship. I need to know where the signal came from. I'm with you, Ratchet. In all credit, Dr. Nefarious really is a genius. But he's stupid. Yeah, sure. Tell us a bit about this top secret super weapon being constructed on planet Dax. Well, well, super is such a strong word. For that matter, we make them maybe a tad over doing it. I do, however, have a lovely view of the ocean at sunset. Why is he nodding? Is poised on the brink of galactic domination? Or is this super weapon just the latest in a series of maniacal pipe dreams? Pipe dreams. I'm going to make sure of that. Is doing on Dax. It can't be good. No we'll shit. Alright, I guess I'm going to play with Dax. Hang on. Wait, something happened. What the hell is that sound? Is that the robots just marching in place behind you? Okay, I don't understand these physics. She's a robot. Shouldn't her, you know, tits not move? For that matter, her stomach, too. I think she's a robot. Is she a robot? I have no idea. She certainly looks like a robot from the original. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too interested in this. Oh man, shit! I hate these. They're not hard. They're tediously annoying, and I wish they were part of the game. At least in the last game, they were more interesting. But this is this is annoying. No, I'm I'm not even. Destroy the red defense programs. The blue defenses are indestructible. Uh. Anyways, this is really tedious and annoying. I'm only showing you this one, and then maybe one. No, I'm just gonna show you this one, and I'm not gonna show you the others. I'm just gonna pause while I do this <laughs> because this is. This is tedious and annoying. It really is, and I don't like doing this. Yeah, this this was a fail, in my opinion. Anyways, my friend Alex, he's one of the people that, oh, oh, shit. Oh, come on. Oh, thank God. I didn't want to go through that again. That whenever we just hang out, we we talk like a couple of chicks. We, we really did. And it was interesting. It, it was weird, because I was 18, he was 21, and our friendship just worked. Hang on. It, it was a weird friendship, but 
we really got along very well. And <laughs> I remember uh, there was this girl, I think her name was Kristen, that I really liked, that I really wanted to start dating. But for some reason, it just never happened between us. <laughs> and uh, he knew how I felt about her. And one day he came over and he's like, this and this happened. And she was really afraid of... I don't care. Okay, I know I said I was going to pause real on this, but I wanted to show you guys something. Do you see where at the bottom it says stage one of three? That means I have to go through three of these stages to get through. Alright, I'm going to pause now. Hang on. You know, now that I think about it, I can do this and continue my story. Because I can say the story and just do this without worrying too much. So, I apologize. I'm just going to do this so I can continue with my story. And he came over and he's like, yeah, we made out and all this. but And he was really concerned that we... I would fight him or something. I was like, dude, it would be one thing if she and I were together, but she made it clear to me that she only saw me as a friend and had no romantic interest. And like, you're a grown-ass man. You have, you make your decisions. And I have no right to tell you whether or not it's okay for you to date this person just because I like it. That, that's not how it works. People aren't objects. Women aren't objects to own. I had no say in whether she decides to be with him or not when we were together. You know, it's that kind of thing. And he's like, I really appreciate that. He's like, Dude, it would be different if she and I were together and you guys made out. But my anger would be more towards her than you because she and I were together. And then she should have made out with you. That would be worse. I might be angry at you, but I can let that one go. You know what I mean? It's all about how you value your relationships and the way you treat one another and all that. Just be good to each other, you know? Stax facility has two high security computer terminals. My information indicates that one of them is somewhere out in the island. The other one is inside the main building. Thanks, Al. Appreciate it. We're on Planet Dax now. And I think I'm going to end this video here for right now. I'll continue on talking about my friends in the next video. Uh, I'm going to continue talking about Alex just a little bit more in the next video. So, please come back tomorrow for more Rash and Clank Up Your Arsenal and more about my, my life. Alright guys, see you later.